which you're most likely to see strange things in the sky. North Yorkshire is the most popular place for a close encounter, with objects ranging from flying saucers to airborne dolphins. Unidentified and as yet unexplained, this saucer-shaped object was filmed passing over Selby. It's just one of more than 40 images captured on camera by UFO investigator Russ Kellett. He claims the North Yorkshire area has become a hotbed for close encounters. I've seen other things like big orange balls of light um, come up from the horizon straight up and dance about on the horizon out uh, to sea there. And other people have been seeing these objects as well. And, you know, like, what the heck are they? It defies science. Nobody can give us any clear explanations for these sightings. This dolphin-shaped craft was also caught flying above the resort of Filey. Military aircraft in the area has explained some of the strange phenomena, but not all. So we've brought in Russ Callahan, a UFO researcher with 20 years' experience, to analyse the footage. And as you can see, it looks like a, a man falling out of the sky, no visible parachute or anything. The, the only problem with it is that the man um, would be actually 20 foot tall. Always intrigued me, you know, the fact that we see things like this, Russ. What it is, I've still no idea after all these years. One minute it looks to be a saucer, the next minute it looks to be something like uh, a shamrock. Could it be a balloon that, that's gone away? And just that the outer focus shot of it sort of has tells us it's something it isn't. Today, the Ministry of Defence has admitted logging around 15,000 reported UFO sightings, but not surprisingly, hasn't commented on any of them. Much of the activity is centred here in North Yorkshire, and that could be largely due to the efforts of a small group of UFO hunters. But as interest wanes across the country, people are being urged more than ever to keep a lookout. I would like people to report the incidents. Um, no matter how, how feeble they may think the incident might be, even if they've just seen something unusual in the sky for a few, a few minutes, um, it's always worthwhile because we do look and put everything down on a database and we do look at every single sighting. Until the sightings increase then, what these crafts may be doing and why they're here will remain a mystery. Miranda Shunker, Sky News, North Yorkshire. Joining us now from our central London studio is Roy Lake from CrowdedSkies.com. It's a website which describes itself as a UFO and alien repository. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. I appreciate you take this matter very seriously. Why should we? Why should we? Well, we've got enough problems at the moment with this terrorist business, but I think that a lot of people should take more notice of what's above them as well. I mean, who to say that uh, there's nothing like this happening in the skies above us? Um, I had a report Sunday from West Yorkshire. Uh, I'm not getting reports from London. Uh, you know, this is unusual. Uh, a lot more people should come forward now and report these things. You see, we, we, you see, the fundamental question for me in this debate is if there is some super intelligent life form out there from another planet, why haven't they made contact with us? Why should they? I mean, the first thing uh, we do uh, if we see anything like this, we shoot at them. <laughs> this is this is true. I mean, this is what happens. Can you imagine something uh, landed in Hyde Park? The first thing you'll get the army round. And if uh, one of these things was to come out, you shoot at it, because we have the fear of the unknown. This has got to be thrown out the window now. All this skepticism. Uh, this is stupid. I think, People I think there's also a fascination with the unknown, isn't there? Oh, of course. General public, I mean, the X-Files and things like this, uh, science fiction is, is terrific. But that's, that's got nothing to do with this subject whatsoever. Uh, the Ministry of Defence says that the, they've been seen over military establishments, they've been tracked on radar. I even saw the Triangle uh, craft embarking over rooftops. This was seen by a couple of other people as well, even here in London. I reported this to Nick Pope for the Ministry of Defence just about three years ago, and all I got was, oh, right. I spoke to him a few weeks ago at a conference I attended, and he doesn't even remember it. So... Do you just think they write you off as a nut? Well, no, I don't think they do that at all, because, I mean, he, he's, he's been into this subject now himself. He gives lectures himself. He's appeared on television. He gave uh, my organisation a talk. 
I'm giving a talk this Saturday for the Erie Investigations uh, uh, group, uh, what are called .com. So get the general public along to these meetings. They should come. Have an open mind and see what is on offer at these meetings. But, but there are lots of scientific questions, aren't there? I mean, with the technology we've got at the moment, I think it would take 73,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri, so they must have one heck of a rocket ship. Why, why is it that everybody turn around and say that they're coming from here? Why not they turn around and say they are already here? There could be bases out in Arctic, there could be bases under the sea, there could be, we've had lots of reports of objects seen out in the sea. See, people should be aware of what's going on. They take it very seriously. Poo-pooing this is stupid. <laughs> Because one day something could happen and we'd say, well, remember this character turning around and saying, we should take more notice. What's going on? We should. Roy, what? as a journalist, I really hope you're right. And uh, don't forget me if uh, you get a chance for an exclusive interview. I certainly will, Chris. I <laughs> certainly will. Thanks for your time you're this welcome. afternoon. Take you're care. welcome. Bye-bye. Watching Sky News, and these are the top stories. Judges are warning the government to expect a big increase in violent crime after the relaxation of the drinking laws in November. A paper